Good morning, friends. Guess what today is? It's Dance Like a Chicken Day. So I'm going to show you the chicken dance before I read you a story about a chicken. Okay, you're ready? So this is how it goes. Okay, so you do that a few times and then you go around to the front like this. And then you do this again. It's a pretty fun dance. If you've ever been to dance party at the library, you've definitely done the chicken dance because we do it every time at dance party. So, dance like a chicken day. I figured I better read you a story about a chicken, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move my chair up here so you can see me better. You can see the book better. It's not so important to see me better. It's important to see the book better. Okay, so this book is called Interrupting Chicken. And on the front it says, this book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? And Papa says, yes. Now please don't interrupt the story. Interrupting Chicken. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Oh, yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read you one of your favorites. And of course, you're not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa, I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until an old woman who lived there came out and said, Oh, lovely children, why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in, she's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped a little red chicken. And she said, don't talk to strangers. So little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted the story. And you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes. Now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story. And I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was a bit was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, and Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling. One, out jumped a little red chicken, and she said, don't panic, it's just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't the end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read me one more story and I promise I'll fall asleep. 
A chicken, said Papa. We are out of stories. Oh no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa yawning, why did you tell me a story? Me tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed awake all That's the story of The Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. I love that story. I hope you enjoyed it too. For Dance Like a Chicken Day. So be sure you dance like a chicken, okay? Don't forget to do it. And next time we have Dance Party at the Library. I hope you come by and we'll do that dance and many, many others. And hey, before that, which probably will be pretty soon that we will do that. But before that, you can come to Storytime at Westgate Park. Oh, we were there this morning. We sat out in the sun. It was so much fun. So I'd love it if you came. You can come on Thursday morning at 10.15, and I will be doing Storytime, or Tuesday morning at 10.15, and Miss Hannah will be doing Storytime. All right, friends, remember to wash your hands. Remember, oh, what am I doing? I'm thinking of you all the time. I'm always thinking about you. And I am looking forward to being with you so much. All right? You have a great weekend. Go out in the sunshine. <laughs>